Welcome to my neighborhood, boys and girls. I hope you've had a fun week as we've been learning that Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. So let's get started. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome to Imagination Station, where we ask you to move your mind. Today, Pastor Danielle will lead in a fun activity with your bold blasters to remind that Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. So look in your VBS activity bag and get ready. Let's go! girls and welcome to Imagination Station. Here at Imagination Station we get to have so much fun with our sciencey gizmos and learning our Bible points for the week. Do you all remember our Bible point for this week? Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! You know Jesus' power really does help us be bold, but sometimes we might not feel very bold. Have you ever heard of the phrase, practice makes perfect? Well, we know we'll never be perfect, but practice sure does help us be bold. Here's what I mean. So, say you're at school and you're about to eat your lunch and you're sitting there with your friends and you decide to take a moment to pray for your food. That's like taking one bold step. Then, maybe your friend asks you, hey, why do you do that? Why do you pray before you eat? 
then you have the opportunity to take another bold step and say, well, that's how I thank Jesus for my food. Then maybe you take another bold step by saying how thankful you are to God for sending Jesus. And little by little, it gets easier to take another bold step. At first, it might start out kind of scary. You might be kind of nervous. You don't know what your friends are going to think. But with each bold step, it gets easier and easier. That's how momentum works. Have you ever seen a train get going? They all start stopped, right? So they all start standing still. And then slowly they get moving. And then little by little, it gets so fast. Have you ever been there at the railroad tracks watching the train zoom by? It, start, it starts going super fast, but it didn't always start out that way. You know, it started out kind of slow, but once it gets going, then it gets easier and easier to move faster. That's how momentum works. You know, this train teaches us about momentum, and it teaches us about how bold steps get easier and easier. And Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. I'm going to show you what I mean with this bold blaster. You guys are going to love this bold blaster. It's so much fun. Oh, well, that didn't really do anything. Hmm. Maybe I'll flip it this way. Let's try this. Okay, well, it bounced a little bit, but that didn't really do anything either. Hmm. Oh, well maybe if I use this power pack, then it'll do something. Let's see. So I'm gonna hold it out just like this. Whoa! Did you see that? Amazing, it launched it forward. Well, that's kind of how Jesus helps us be bold. You see, on our own, it's kind of hard, and maybe we don't really do much. But once we bring Jesus into the picture, he launches us forward into taking bold steps for him. You know, this bold blaster is so much fun to play with, and I know you guys are gonna love playing with it. But it can also help us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Have fun with your bolt blasters, boys and girls. We'll see you next week here at Imagination Station. Bye-bye. Tick, tack, toe. We win! It's fun when we went together. By the way, are you getting your backpack ready? Plan with your mom and dad on how you can put a backpack together for kids in your community. Pastor Patty will continue to share with us how we can make an impact right in the community where we live. Remember, you can make a difference. Let's go! Part of the mission of the Boys and Girls Clubs is to serve the kids in their community in the area of education. But did you know that a large majority of the kids they serve live below the poverty level? This is why Operation Kid to Kid is such an important project. We are glad that you are all excited about filling backpacks with school supplies and donating these to Boys and Girls Clubs where you live or where your church is located. I am so excited that we get to partner with them and help the kids in their communities and make a difference in their lives. So thank you so much for helping out. And let's take a look at other ways that Boys and Girls Clubs makes a difference in the lives of kids in their community.
opportunity isn't always given a door to knock on. So we built one. The door to our kids' futures is often crowded by temptation and misdirection, making it difficult for them to reach their full potential. But once they enter that door, our club door, inside is a place of hope and opportunity. The second home for the nearly 4 million kids we serve every year after school and in the summer. Inside our doors, youth development professionals and mentors provide the guidance, support, and encouragement needed for every kid and teen in an enriching and safe environment, no matter their circumstances. Boys and Girls Club set the standard as the number one advocate for youth during the out-of-school time. We assure success is within reach for all kids and teens in America with club members on track to graduate from high school with a plan for the future, demonstrating good character, and living a healthy lifestyle. We're leading America's youth, fostering success well beyond the basketball court through hundreds of programs, from robotics to the culinary arts, providing unlimited opportunities for those seeking. This hope and opportunity builds character, creates leaders, and helps all kids define their future. Ensuring young people find their passions, reach for their dreams, and achieve their full potential. Much can be found inside our 4,000 doors nationwide and on military installations around the world. Boys and Girls Clubs is the opportunity for all kids, and our doors are open. Great futures start here. If you haven't put together your backpacks and school supplies, it's okay. You still have time. Here's a list of school supplies that you'll need to purchase to put into your backpacks to make a donation to Boys and Girls Clubs. Thank you so much. And let's keep helping out the kids at the Boys and Girls Clubs. You can make a difference in their lives. Hi, Boys and Girls. I'm holding sidewalk chalk in my hands. Today, for our family challenge, we'll find out how we can be a good neighbor using this sidewalk chalk. It's great to not only impact our community, but also impact the neighborhood we live in. So let's be bold for Jesus. Are you ready? Let's go. Boys and girls, I'm here today to introduce this week's family challenge for you. And for this week's family challenge, you are going to need some fun colors of sidewalk chalk in your imagination. So you are going to take your sidewalk chalk, go outside with your family, and you are going to create some artwork right in front of your house. You can do it on the sidewalk in front of your house or maybe even your driveway. And you are going to draw some pictures with your family of some of your favorite things. You can draw, you can write a message, maybe you can even write a Bible verse. But what a fun way to brighten someone's day as they are outside perhaps walking their dog, just going for a stroll or playing outside with their kids. And our hope is that as they walk by your house, they will see these colorful drawings or messages and they will be encouraged and hopefully they will remember how much Jesus loves them. So let's get outside and see what we can create. That was a fun week. Did you remember what we learned? Yes, Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. Thank you for traveling with us. Did you invite another family to join you in your journey? If you haven't, we still have two more weeks. So why not invite them next week for another great adventure? And remember, no matter how hard things may get, Jesus' power will help pull us through. Bye!